God, you ought to be able to what? You ought to be able to praise him. Amen. If you got God in you, we ain't got to beg you to praise a God. You say you love. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it's a shame that we get in churches and have to beg people to praise a God they say they love. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't have to beg me to be nice to my wife because I love my wife. Amen. It's an automatic thing. Hallelujah. To treat my wife like I love her. Amen. And we don't treat God like we love him. Amen. Hallelujah. What is that sin, Brother Jerry? Action speaks louder than words. Amen. The problem is people have words with no action. Amen. That's why people are out today doing what they feel is important. Amen. But what I feel is important is lifting my hands in the sanctuary, telling God, thank you. Hallelujah. I'm not going to pray against COVID because it's the will of God. Amen. It would not happen if he had not allowed it. Amen. Hallelujah. But what I will thank God for is bringing me out of it. Amen. Hallelujah. Bringing me through it. Amen. Hallelujah. When it felt like I was at a dead end. Hallelujah. He brought me out. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. I got too much to thank God for. Maybe that songwriter that wrote that song couldn't have wrote a truer song. You can't tell him like I can what he's done for me oh god done bought me out of too much not to serve him hallelujah he done bought you out of too much you just don't recognize it not to serve him i will feel bad missing being in the presence of the lord with my brothers and sisters when i can be here huh huh I would feel awful. Tell you they couldn't get me out of the hospital fast enough. Ah, uh, you need to rest. No, I'm going to church. I don't care if I can't say nothing. I'm going to church. I'm going to church. Ah, uh, I I'll drag the, the 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 oxygen tank right behind me. I'm getting to church. Mm hmm. Because you can't tell him like I can what he's done for me. Amen. Hallelujah. But see, a lot of us are not in that place in position with God. Hallelujah. We, 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 we don't take this thing as serious as we need to. Amen. We think God is playing. Oh, we think we got all the time in the world to get things right. But I'm going to give you a great news flash. If you've never heard it before, you might die in the next second. So get it right, right now. Huh? See, pastors ain't telling you this. Amen. Get it together right now. Amen. You will not see the kingdom of heaven without repentance. Amen. You will not see the kingdom of heaven without Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You will not see the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. With sin in your life. Hallelujah. I'm just here to tell you the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. In Matthew 7, we're going to talk about two types of people. Hallelujah. And, and we're going to find where there were two builders. Amen. How many of y'all builders in here? Amen. We ought to all be builders for Jesus Christ. Amen. Because our job is to do what? Build the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we are citizens of the United States of America. You ought to thank God for that because this is a great country to be a citizen of. But most of all, we are a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. So we got dual citizenship. Amen. Hallelujah. But we got to remember how the Bible told us no man can serve two, two gods. Amen. He'll, he'll love one and, and hate the other. Amen. So we got to turn 
our back to our citizenship here when it comes down to kingdom amen that's why we would not close amen hallelujah because we are serving the kingdom amen and once again as i told you a king is born into kingship amen hallelujah the united states government hallelujah is voted in amen you get sick of them you can vote them out amen but you can't vote a king out, amen because the king is the king mm -hmm. so matthew 7 verse 20 20 24 says therefore whoever hear these sayings of mine now listen to this because this is jesus talking whoever hear these sayings of, of, of mine and doeth what them i will like him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock huh a man hallelujah and the rain descended and the flood came and the wind blew and beat upon the house and it fell not amen hallelujah for it was found upon the rock come on amen we are seeing people falling today because they did not build their most salvation upon the rock amen i don't care how saved you say you are how you can talk in ba ba ra ba 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 ba, ba. i don't care how you do all that you are still not built up on the rock amen and it says everyone that hear this saying of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto what a foolish man which buildeth his house up on sand and this is where we see a lot of christians today have built their house on sand and not the rock and the rain descended and the flood came and the wind blew and beat upon their house and it fell and the great it was great the great was the fall of it great was the fall of it amen don't you know saints are falling today greatly because they have not built their house on the rock now we see two different people here one that built it on the rock and the other that built it on the sand amen and they had the same equipment the same place the same location to build but one chose to do one thing and the other chose to do the other amen so this parable is speaking once again about two very 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 different types of of people amen and this picture is going to show us several characteristics in common they have in coming amen so we're going to look at both of them heard the word of christ amen see that right both of them heard he who hears it says right here's this word these saying of mine and doeth them now get this it follows up and says and doeth them not just hear it but and do with them the ones that built their house on the sand heard it but didn't do it they did not do it huh huh but because they did not do it it caused them to build their house on the sand so we're we're, we're, we're going to call them the, the 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 sand builders amen hallelujah those that build their house on the sand but both of them heard the word of the lord and these two people heard the same parable from god they both heard the message of repentance they both heard the message that you need to come clean before you can be saved amen the, they both heard the the parable and they knew they knew listen to this they knew that jesus was the way amen he he said i am the what the way the truth and the life they both heard the gospel but both of them reacted differently mm. and then they also both build a house now y'all remember the story of the three little pigs oh there was three little pigs one pig took some straw and threw up a house. The other 
took wood and threw up the house and the other took brick amen and i took that story and changed it years ago and said there was three little pigs because most of these pastors are pigs amen hallelujah they want to take all they can get amen but one of them wasn't a pig one of them was a pastor hallelujah the first pig hallelujah took all the money he could from the church and built a house of straw amen and the second one did the same but he built a house of wood but then the old devil that old serpent showed up amen hallelujah and he he knocked on the door of the one that built his house with straw and he said let me in and he said not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin amen hallelujah he said if you don't let me in i'm gonna huff i'm gonna puff and i'm gonna burn your house down amen hallelujah well you do what you got to do mr devil and he huffed puffed and burned his house down but he got out the house because you was about to smell some bacon <laughs> he made it to his brother's house and said hey brother get let me in because the devil just burned my house down oh. And then lo and behold, he shows up at the brother's house. Now you got two of them in there. Hey Amen. That's a lot of patties, ain't it? Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. there's a lot of pig feet in there, ain't it? Hallelujah. That poor pig ain't got no chance. Huh? We eat everything on him. Hallelujah. Even his intestines, amen. Hallelujah. You're going to cut him open, amen. But he knocked on the door and said, let me in, let me in, let me in, amen. Hallelujah. But this little pig right here, he, 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 was, he was just praying before his brother got there, huh? But he wasn't, he wasn't praying to, 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 to God to get the will of God. He was praying for his own need, amen. Hallelujah. And as he was praying, here his brother come interrupt his prayer to get in, amen. So the devil shows up and said, let me in. Hallelujah. He said, I will not. He said, let me in. If you don't, I'm going to burn your house down. He said, I will not let you in by the hairs of mine. Chinny, chin, chin. Mm -hmm. So the devil, so the devil, he huffed and he puffed and he blew. Burn his house down. Uh-oh, we about to have some. Some patties, some sausages. <laughs> the devil thought he was about to eat good. <laughs> but but they got away, they got away, they got away. And he ran to his other brother. And and, and this brother was a pastor. Mm -hmm. Pastor of a little old church, amen. But the church was built on the rock. Uh-huh. That rock was Jesus. Hallelujah. And they remember, the other two remember, we got to hurry up and get to the church because we remember as we were growing up we heard but didn't do it but we heard that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it amen so if we get to the church we will be safe amen so as they got to the church they ran in and there was their brother standing in the pulpit with four or five people preaching to amen and they sat on down amen and the devil thought he was gonna prance right in after him amen but the power of the holy ghost was too strong to keep him in they let him in amen so he had to turn around and reroute amen how many of y'all know the devil will reroute if he don't get you one way he'll try another one amen if he can't break you down in one thing he'll break you down in something else come on now this is the devil we talking about huh a lot of people say they don't believe in the devil but the devil is just as real as god come on huh 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 so when the two pigs the two pigs the two pigs two pigs huh they were like okay we are we 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 are free we we have lost everything but we 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 are free but the devil got in the mind of one pig amen and then got in the mind of the second pig amen hallelujah see that's why these spirits flow in the church y'all don't think the spirit see this or the spiritual side of me see what's going on inside of y'all amen hallelujah but the brother pig realized he had the power to cast the devil out amen hallelujah and it's not always safe to tell somebody to leave you need the devil execute it out of you amen hallelujah so you can be freed amen so the devil said if i can get in the mind of these two pigs and cause them to go against each other guess what i do i can take the church down from the inside instead of burning it down on the outside come on how many y'all know brick don't burn mm -hmm. brick don't burn 
But once again, once again, upon this rock I will build my church amen hallelujah and when brother big brother the 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 the, the pastor pig seen seen all this he got in his spirit and start praying lord hallelujah i rebuke the devil in the name of jesus get thee behind me satan you have no power here god has given us power to walk on serpents and they won't harm us if we eat anything deadly hallelujah it won't harm us god has given us power to lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed the oppressed and they shall be delivered and i believe i have the power right now amen and when he did that and laid hands on both the, the devil had to get out of them hallelujah i'm telling you this is what the real church is lacking today amen because the house is not built on the rock is built on the sand amen once again each of them built their house based on their understanding of what jesus said the house in this parable is a picture of your life so when i'm talking about the house i'm talking about your life your life the life that you are living and each man based his his life upon his interpretation or interpretation of what jesus said or what jesus meant ah ah and both of them had the same message delivered to them but one believed one way and the other believed the other way and both of them applied the word of the lord to their life but they saw it the way they see fit amen that's why you have people say it's okay to miss church it's okay to do this just because that's the way you see it amen you you see it like god see it amen don't ever miss an opportunity to praise god amen don't ever miss an opportunity to come with your brothers and your sister he told us to forsake it not that means don't forget it don't do it you better get with it amen every opportunity you have a chance you ought to do it hmm See, we, 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 we see, we see in verse 27, it reads, and the rain descended and the floods came and the wind blew and beat the houses up and it fell and it was a great fall. <laughs> huh? So both of these houses were built in the same location. Huh? I described that a severe storm had came. Don't y'all know we are in a storm now and the storm will affect both houses. It's going to affect the both houses. I got up this morning. Our wind was blowing so hard to knock my, my fence down in the back. Amen. I went to let my dogs down and my fence are, is completely down in some places. Amen. Because the strength of the wind have torn the gate down. Now the reason why the fence is falling down because it's that old rotten wood. Amen. It's time for them to replace that. Amen. Hallelujah. And see a lot of things we have in our life just like that fence I have that's too old we need to replace and get out of our life. Amen. Because when the wind blows it falls and causes you stress and problems because somebody got to come out of their pocket and fix it amen hallelujah you better remember this somebody got to come out of their pocket and fix it amen and when you keep old things that need to be thrown out of your life you gonna it's gonna cost you to fix it amen but we got to remember jesus is the one that's already paid the cost for us to be fixed amen we just have to build our house upon him See, see, see. COVID's a storm. Y'all agree? It's a storm. Old writer said, songwriter said, when the storms of life are rage, Lord, stand by me. But how can we ask the Lord to stand by us and we haven't spent time with God? Mm, how can we expect God to stand by us and we don't even stand with him? Won't even stand up for him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, we, 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 we also notice that both of them build similar houses. Nothing is said in the Bible about these houses being what? Different. They use a similar material. Most likely they, 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 they had the similar designs from the outside. Both of them probably look just alike. 
Uh, in fact, they both may have been a looking alike or just alike. But on the inside, they were totally different. Mm, the color, the floors, the bathroom, the shape, uh, the size of the room, the, the lighting, the way it was, was, was planned is totally different. And uh, the picture we see here is, is of how two people can respond to the gospel message. Huh? Just to clarify, the gospel is very, somebody say, is very simple. Come on, come on, I'm trying to help you. The gospel is very simple. Are y'all, y'all, y'all ain't responding. Y'all don't believe it then. The gospel is very simple. Hmm? Here again, show you. First Corinthians 15, verses 3 through 4 says, For I have delivered unto you first of all that which also received how that Christ died. For our sins, according to the scripture, and that he was buried. And that he rose again the third day, according to the scripture. This message sounds pretty simple, right? This message is something we must believe in order to be saved. You must believe this in order to be saved. I don't believe that it would be impossible for almost the whole world to be saved if they could believe this message like they believe COVID. Just today, once again, had someone else, did you get vaccinated? They believe in that vaccine, but don't believe that he rose on the third day. Huh? Huh? And this is according to what? The scripture. And the Bible puts it this way. Romans 10 verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thy shall be what? saved it's simple salvation is just that simple as believing the gospel and of course you would notice that the bible says in this verse that you have to confess with your what with your mouth the lord jesus so salvation involves what Faith in the gospel, but also involves repentance of sin and willingness to yield to the lordship and control of Jesus Christ in your life. See, if Jesus Christ was in charge of everybody that belonged here's life, they'll be here today. Mm, you believe that? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, can't nothing, 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 nothing keep me from serving God. Oh, there are times that I've been so sick, I could barely get out the bed and get dressed. But I get myself down here and just start lifting my hands, saying, thank you, Jesus. Before you know it, I'm able to stomp, run, shout, scream, do anything God allowed me to do the Sunday before it at, at that time. But now we're on Saturday. But so many people hear this message, and they react in different ways. Regardless of how a person may react to it. They all build their lives based on what they think Jesus said. How many of y'all found yourself in that place where you have did things because of what you thought Jesus said? Hmm, these people all build their house in the same location. 
but it's to see if they can weather the same storm. Because when the storm come, it's going to cause them to see if their faith as is strong as they can say it is or better yet or can handle things. See, we have faith in Jesus Christ. I, I, I believe if I get sick, God will heal me. And if he don't, guess what? I'm going home to glory. Mm -hmm. And if he don't heal this body, guess what he told me? He promised me. He gave me his word that I will receive a new body. A body that won't hurt no more. One that won't cry no more. One that won't feel pain no more. So because he promised me that, whatever goes on, God is in control. Some of these people go to the same church, hear the same preaching, live the same kind of life from the outside. But when you get to the inside, see, the inside is totally different. So a lot of these people, you know, picture, you know, religion. And they make it a priority in their life. But God is not looking at your religion. God said, you got to believe upon me. God gave us instructions. He said, be baptized and believe, repent. There's three things that you have to do according to my understanding is repent, be baptized and believe. There's no need to be baptized if you don't believe. Many say today that there is no reason to be baptized. What about the thief on the cross? Well, that was before Jesus died. And Jesus said, when I leave, I'm going to leave you a comforter. A comforter will come and, and this is my new covenant. See, this is what they fail to, to remember. When Jesus died, he left us something new. Now, people keep saying God is doing a new thing. God ain't doing nothing new. He said, nothing new is under the sun. But when Jesus died, he left us a new covenant. And it was sealed by his blood. Hmm? And that covenant was, if you believe upon me and confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that the Lord Jesus died and rose on the third day, you shall be saved. Hmm? But we see people in church has a lot of similarities. Because even here you see a lot of similarities in the two people. But one of them built their house on what? On sand. This is the sand builder. One, 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 one found the spot and he began to dig in the sand. He, he had to move the sand because you know you got to move foundation to get foundation, right? You don't just lay foundation on top of just know anything. You got to break up some stuff first, huh? Because foundation goes deep. Hmm, now get this. Foundation goes what? Goes deep. How deep is your foundation in Jesus Christ? It goes deep. Or are you the one that built it on the, the sand? Because we got to understand that sand offers no stuff. No, nothing. It's not stable. It, it, it offers no stability. Huh? Sand is not a good place to do what? Build a house on. Because sand can never provide a firm foundation. And a lot of people are in the place called churches that are built on sand. Preaching the gospel of prosperity that offers you no firm foundation. And this contact building on the sand speaks of people who hear the gospel. Huh? But instead of believing the gospel and coming to the faith of Jesus Christ, they believe that they can build their own lives on what they believe, on what they can do. Their abilities to understand and decipher the word of God. That's why it's not safe to play pastor of yourself. 
Oh, it's not safe to stay at home and say, well, I can read the Bible. My, you probably can read, but do God give you an understanding? He said, how can they hear without the preacher? And how can he preach if he haven't been sent? People who build on the sand, here's the gospel. And choose to save themselves. Hmm? To hear the gospel. And believe it is a general message, but... They choose to follow God on their own terms. What do you mean, Pastor? Well, my terms is I got something more important to do than come to church today. That's my term. I'm going to follow you, God, tomorrow, but I, you, right now, I, I got something to do. Have you ever did that? Of course we have. I don't feel like getting out of the bed to come to church today. So I, I'm going to serve you on my terms and just turn on Joe Olstein. Have you ever did that? That's serving God on your terms. You got to serve God on his terms. Huh? Because see, his word is open to in interpretation. And he commands us all to do something that causes us to have to obey him. Huh? If you don't like it, then you, you ain't going to do it. Yeah, just like we got people out today thinking it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to go do something for a friend when you're supposed to be in the house of God. How do you expect that friend to come to Jesus Christ if you can't stand for Jesus Christ yourself in front of them? Hmm? Come on, think about it. Huh? You, 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 you want your mama saved? You want your friend saved? You want your neighbor saved? Let them see you live a saved life. Hmm? How can you go preach and they see you? Well, ain't you supposed to be in church today? Yeah, but, you know, so-and-so needed. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Whoever need me these hours, just going to need me after I finish. Because they might still need me even if I show up. Mm -hmm. Because if they built their house on the wrong, they would go to Jesus. Hmm? These people that build their lives on self-will, huh? self-fulfillment, self-sufficiency, self-satisfying, satisf and self-righteousness. Their works are based on religion that has no appearance of being right see that's why a lot of these places really need to close their doors if the pastors are scared to preach the word of god close your door get out leave now i don't know if you guys pay attention to the things that i pay attention to but i've seen the most nastiest grossest thing in the church that a pastor can ever do to anybody just last week I'm not going to name the pastor's name. You'll find him. Remember the first time I, I, I heard a message from him. He said, nah. But here he is trying to illustrate Jesus giving sight to the blind man. And he literally spit in his hand with the man right there next to him and wiped the spit in his face. Humiliated that man. And if anybody had an ounce of Jesus in them. Should have got up. And walked out of that church. To never return. Because if you're going to take your spit. Your bodily fluids. And wipe them in someone's face. Poor man had to wipe this stuff off. It was hanging on. It was just disgusting. But 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 see, this is the church that's built on sand. And people like to play in the sand. Don't kids like to play in, 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 in the sand? Huh? Didn't we like to play in the sand? But these are churches that we find according to 2 Timothy 3 and 5. That they have a form of godliness, but deny the power. 
thereof. And because they deny the power thereof, the Bible tells you to do what? Turn away, get away, leave, leave. Why do people stay in these churches that are built on sand? People build on sand because it's easy. It requires little, little effort. Just a little change here and, and, and there. Huh? Just, just, just a little change. Ah. But, 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 but they're fooling themselves. And they are trying to fool everyone around them to think that they are doing the right thing in the Lord and they're not. Because their life is built on sin, which requires no commitment. No sacrifice and no faith. That's what we find here. People truly have no commitment, no sacrifice, and no faith. Huh? People who build their house on sin believe that they can pray a prayer. And sign a car, join a church, and all is well. Hmm, you don't have to do nothing else. People who build on saying can turn it on and turn it off just like a switch. I'm going to be holy today, but unholy when I leave. Hmm. They can be in today and out tomorrow. And again, the next day and out the next day. Sand builders are ultimately those that have faith in themselves. Hmm? But when God makes a demand on the sand builder and calls for total surrenderance to him, he then will do what? make excuses don't you know God is not looking for excuses God doesn't need your excuse because Jesus encountered this very very thing during his ministry excuses according to Luke uh, 9 verse 57 through 62 says and it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever you goeth. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, birds have nests, but the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me, but he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, let the dead bury the dead, but go ye there and preach the kingdom of God. Now listen to this. He told him, go, 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 preach the kingdom of God. And another said also, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid <laughs> them farewell, which are at my home or in my house. Jesus said unto him, no man have it put his hand to the plow and look back is unfit for the kingdom of God. You're not fit for the kingdom of God. You will not go to heaven is what it says. If you jump in this and you jump out, guess what? You are not fit for the kingdom of heaven. If you if you dedicated yourself to be here and you you think a, 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 a party is more important than God, you are not fit for the kingdom of God. Is that what it says? Back back the screen up. Back the screen up. And Jesus said unto him, no man have put his hand to the plow. That, that means you don't, you don't start this and just sit it down when you feel like it. When, 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 when you take this, you keep this. You cherish this. How many of you guys have something that you cherish? You cherish this. You don't pick them up and put it down. Most of us are married. A ring is nowhere in the Bible. This is man-made, by the way. 
the more God gives you understanding, <laughs> you start realizing we just do things because this is what we were brought up to understand. You don't have to wear a ring to be married. God knows you're married. It's to let somebody else know. You let somebody else know out your own mouth. Uh, but 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 we 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 do things because of the way that we were brought up. But when 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 you get married and and that ring goes on, you cherish you cherish that 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 ring, especially when you first get it. Women do this all the time, brother Jerry. You 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 be eating a hot dog and they just be like. Come on, come on, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, I know what I'm talking about. But, 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 but people that build their lives on religion and self-righteousness has a false hope. And they do not really truly serve God because they will not sacrifice anything. They, they want to walk the easy path. Sand builders are, 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 are. They like the results of instant rewards, instant satisfying or sanctification and or satisfying or, or they like instant pleasure. Mm. They like those that love heights and hate the depths. They are hot and cold they are are in and they're out they were up in there now but the other builder who built his house on the rock now the word rock refers to as a large outcoupling of a a, a rock like the bedrock Hmm. While one man had built his house on on sand, the other had dug deep. Hmm. This is what you got to do in your spirit, your soul. Dig deep. He 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 dug until he reached the bedrock. Ah, uh, and, and and started to build his house on the rock. Then this this rock cannot be moved. Y'all thank God if you built on the rock because that rock is stable and it's not changeable. It's unchanging. Amen. This rock offers a good foundation for a house. Building on the rock speaks of people who hear the gospel, believe it and do it. And they live it. Huh? They obey it. Huh? The rock in this verse is identified as those words of mine remember it says he and 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 everyone that heareth the saying of of, of mine this is what the rock is re referring to as the words of jesus christ the rock is the gospel it is the same rock mentioned in matthews 16 verse 16 through 18 and it reads as and Simon Peter answered and said thy art the what the, Christ. the who the, Christ. the son of the living God and Jesus answered and said unto him blessed art thy Simon for Jonah for flesh and blood not revealed this to thee but my father which is in heaven and i say also unto thee that thy art peter and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it are you rooted and built in the rock in this passage the rock refers to peter's profession of his faith in the word of jesus christ it refers to the faith in the gospel. See, so see, rock builders understand that Jesus alone has power to save their souls. Hmm? 
Rock builders hear, hear the word. And they conform their lives to the gospel. Get this. They do what? They conform their lives to the gospel. When you conform your life to the gospel, that means if you got to be a church, you got to be a church. You don't conform your life to the world. Well, the world told me I got to be at somewhere and do this and that. You conform your way to the gospel. How, how many of you guys would have respect for people that stand up for what they believe? How many of you guys have the utmost respect for people that stand up for what they believe? So if you believe it or believe in it, people ought to see what you say you believe in. Hmm? Uh, we don't drink, we don't drink. No exceptions. We ain't drinking no wine and no communion. We don't drink. We ain't drinking no wine and no wedding. Oh, we don't drink. Should no saved person have no liquor and no wedding? Because we don't drink. If we're going to stand for God, then what? We need to stand for God. And it will cause those that don't believe in God to question, wow. How is it possible that you do that? It's the God in me. It's the Holy Ghost that he has put in me to cause me to be what? Different. Well, well, well what I find today is people don't want to be different. They, they want to wear the same clothes. They want to wear the same shoes. They, they see what God called his people. God told us that we are a peculiar people. That means we are a different people. We are a people where people minds are like, what in the world causes them to do that? See, see, a rock builder hears the, the, the Bible, hears the word about Jesus and, 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 and Jesus that he, he is as uh, uh, John 14, 6, that, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No, no, no man come to the Father but by me or by him. They hear this message. They receive this message. They take this message. They plant it in their heart, and they hear John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believe in him shall have everlasting life. They hear, they hear, they hear, they hear Matthews 11 and 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This message strikes them like a light, a bolt of lightning. Comes into their heart with absolute clarity. Ah, uh, they hear the truth about Jesus and they believe it. See, a lot of people don't believe it, but the, the, the rock builder believes it because in their believing it, they also yield to it. Because once you yield to the word of God, what does it do? It changes your life. Mm, that's why we have so many people in church. They ain't yielded to Christ. They are a hearer, but not a doer. The Bible says those kind of people deceive themselves. Huh? When God tells them what to do in the word, God warns them what will happen and what they need to avoid. They will do what's necessary to avoid it. Because we know we're going to pay the price to walk the path. And we got to do what the Lord told us to do. Because the house that is built, the rock, is built on something that God realized is the best. And because we are built on the best, God deserves the best. Oh, see, 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 see. Um, 
talk a little personal business and hope my wife don't get mad at me, but here my wife is going to work every every every, every day and then she don't bother me for 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 much or nothing at all and I just happened to be sweeping the floor in the in the room and I ran across her work shoes and I picked it up and I want to throw them in the trash. Oh, but I didn't do it right there because I didn't know if she had any other shoes to wear to work. And I was like, well, my, my wife, she's always, do you need, do you need, you need some shoes. <laughs> But she has not ran out to get her any, any, any shoes. So I, I went out and I, I, I started looking at some, some nice shoes. And there were two pair that was put in my, my hand and uh, got to the register and I'm asking the lady, which is the nicest? She said, well, both. If she's a good wife, she deserve them both. I was like, man, that's about 300 and something. Huh? But I said, you know what? She's been good to me. She deserves the best. And we ought to treat God just like we treat people. They deserve the best. God deserves the best. Because he sacrificed his son so that you don't have to live in eternal damnation. Y'all ought to say amen right there. So you don't have to suffer the wrath to come, huh? Yeah, see, see, a rock builder, they, 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 they sacrifice their works and do anything to honor God. They love to honor God and obey God. Huh? The, the, the rock builder, he is obedient to the word of God, which proves his love to God. According to, to, to John 14, 15, Rock Builder hears the word of God and makes it his foundation in his life. He says, if ye love me, you would do what? If you do what? If you love me, you would what? If you love me, you would do what? If you love me, you would keep my commandments. If you, if you, see the key word in this whole sentence is the first word is if. Ye, if, 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 see, if gives you an option to do it or not to do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And those that do not keep the commandments of God do not love God. No matter how you say you love God, once again, no matter how much you jump around the church, amen, you are a sand builder, amen. No matter how you can. You are a sand builder. By the way, this is how the redeemed know they are redeemed because they keep the commandments of God. First John, first John, first John two verses three through six. It says hereby, hereby and hereby, hereby and Hereby we know, or do we know that we know him? Listen to this. Now, this is very important that y'all read this and understand this. And hereby we do know that we know him if, come on, there's an if again, if we keep his commandments. Uh-oh. Now, you can say you love God all day long. But guess what? I ain't calling you a liar. The Bible is. Hmm. It says, if you keep my commandments, he that saith he know me and keep it not. His commandments is a liar. Uh oh, the Bible just straight out called you a liar. If you don't keep God's commandments. This is about to shut a lot of churches down. You're a liar. Huh? It's about to shut a lot of churches. Am, am I wrong? Because he said, remember, honor the Sabbath. Keep it holy. For this is a day I hollow that I call holy. This is the Lord's day. How did we take something else and change it? 
<sighs> and the truth is not in him. See, a liar, a liar can't tell the truth. You can't lie and tell the truth at the same time. Hmm? But whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that said that he abide in him ought himself also, what? Walk even as he walks. See, 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 when y'all start hearing you acting like you holier than thou, you need to say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm walking the way Jesus told me to walk. I'm walking like God told me to walk because I am a rock builder and not a sand builder. Amen. The rock builder is going to walk like Jesus walked. I still hear, I still hear that Jesus drunk wine. I know he turned water into wine, but I see nowhere where he drunk the wine. Amen. Because the Bible says wine is a mockery. Amen. And he that drinketh is not wise. Hey, it's okay. We can drink a little wine, a little wine for the stomach. You ain't sick like that because those illnesses are not the same. Again, we see two people who who were very much alike, who who responded to the gospel different. One built his house on firm foundation on on, on the faith of Jesus Christ in the gospel, and the other built on the shifting sand of religious works. In self righteousness. One of those houses describe the kind of life you may be building on right now. You either believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ or you have a false religion and a false hope of salvation. We just remind you that salvation comes only from knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Here again, I told you this gospel is simple. Here again is a clear message of the Bible in Acts 16:31. Or Acts 4 first, Acts 4 and 12. And it says, neither there is no salvation or neither there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given unto men whereby we must be, be saved. Simple. Acts uh, 16 30 31 he said he that believeth upon the Lord Jesus Christ I shall be saved but this is the good part not just 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 he shall be saved but it follows it up and said in thine house that means your wife your children and I believe this really talks to the man since God appointed the man the head of the house, uh, it, it starts with the the father, the husband, the 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 the, the provider, the the man. Mm, because the man is to dictate how the house is ran. Mm? But it also lets us know in First Corinthians three and eleven. For other foundations can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Who or what is your foundation for your life today? Hmm? Who, 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 who 
or what are you building on today? Are you building your life on a, a solid rock? Or are you building your life on shifting sand? What are you building your life around? Because the Bible says the one that built his house on sand, great was the fall of it. Hmm. But the one that built his house on the rock is unmovable. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hmm. He tells us in 1 John 5 and 12, he that uh, hath the son hath what? Hath life. And he that hath not the son of God hath not life. Do you have life in Jesus Christ? And John, John 6, 30. 7 through 40 says and all that the father giveth we shall what giveth me shall come to me and in him that cometh to me I will no wise cast out so it doesn't mean that you can't come to God it says any 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 anything that come to me I will not turn away I, I will not turn my back on. I don't care what kind of background you 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 came from. Even if you have been a practicing witch, or a practicing homosexual, or or just a, pa a practicing bigot, or a liar, or 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 false prophet, or whatever it is, I will not turn my back on you if you come. If you come. If you come. Hmm. The Father will not. Will not cast you away he will not turn his back on you you ought to thank God that God did not turn his back on you because I have done some things that I know I know I know God that turned his back on me but thank you Jesus for not turning your back on 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 me so the father will will which he sent me that of all which have given me, I shall not lose, lose, lose nothing, but shall do what? Raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which is seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. These are the rock builders. You see, see the, 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 we got to remember as well, for the saints that are dealing with COVID, as, as some of us have, we got to know the rock builders are going to also experience the same storm as the sand builders. The rain is going to come. The flood, the flood, the flood is going to come. The wind is going to blow and beat up on the house. Now, now the word beat means to strike or, or to batter. The house was battered and, 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 and it stood against the storm. Huh? That was thrown against it. The house might have been shaken, but it did not fall. That's why we had to build our lives in Jesus Christ. It stood on a firm foundation and weathered the storm. See, see, when, when somebody in Christ that has built their life on a firm foundation, we're going to have the same type of battles and storms that those have built their house on the sand. 
but we're going to endure the storm. Amen? We ought to thank God because we can endure the, the, the storm. Ah, because don't you know endurance is important because the Bible says that the grace is not given to the swift nor the strong, but he that endure to the end. Again, this house stood because it was built on the word of God, the gospel of grace. Uh, the house stood because the, the builder had dug deep uh, and built it on the bedrock, built it on greater than something or something greater than himself. Ah, uh, the builder built a house on the finished word of God, the finished works of Jesus Christ, which that he did there on the cross. This builder believed the, the, the gospel. He, 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 he built this understanding that, that Jesus died for our sins and did what? Rose again. He died and he came back and said, all power is in my hand. All power in heaven and earth is in my hand. And he know Jesus has the power to save him. He believed, he believed, he accepted Jesus. He lived for Jesus. See, th th this is how it works, everybody. This is how it works. Because we need to understand that our name can still be on the roll in the church and still go to hell. Mm. You can be baptized and still go to hell. You, you can be a good person in everybody's eyes and still go to hell you, you you can build your 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 house on religion and still go to hell uh -huh. but if you build your life on faith in Jesus Christ and on the death in resurrection your house will stand and you will be saved amen hey this is pastor anthony with faithful praise outreach i am delighted in the lord that you took time to watch our live stream we would like to thank you for giving a moment to pay attention to what's going on here at faithful praise outreach and we would like to cordially invite you to any of our services we have current services at this time from 9 30 to 10 30 on saturday mornings which is our christian education our morning worship from 11 to 1 p.m which is our Saturday worship service and Thursday nights from 6.30 to 7.30, which is our Christian education. You are more than welcome to stop by. You can also reach us at info at faithfulpraisechurch.org for your prayer requests or any other requests that we can help you with. We'll be delighted in the Lord to stay in prayer with you and your family. If you also like to donate to this ministry, you can donate by texting the word give to 916-831-7366. God bless you and be blessed. This is Overseer Anthony with Faithful Praise Outreach Church. Amen.